This is so stupid. I'm using Banfino. So I actually have two Banfinos to showcase. The first one is going to be the usual sap plant. I'm running Frostbeat to threaten plant types. Although they have a tap tap, so screw that idea. And I have a... Another one to show later. And yes, I have two Banfinos. They were pretty easy to just rally because neither of them I really need a secret buddy. Unfortunately, this one I got cut Spire. <laughs> so I guess I can use it in double bounce, but I prefer uh, Bully. Yeah, no, I definitely prefer Bully. Now, do I bring Akalos or Snagoop? I think definitely no. Actually, yeah, it's okay to not bring them. I think it's okay. I was considering Snagoop for like the tap 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 help. Ooh, I just watched on this. If it's boots though. If it's boots, I'm in trouble. Let's see, is it boots? <laughs> is it boots, Kirlin? No, it's not. Alright, Kirlin's dead unless it has like a clutch plushy or an archaic pearl, but nope, it doesn't have any. Kirlin's down. <coughs> Alright, Kirlin's down. What's next? What else could he have for Zulong? Cosmire, definitely no. Tatap would be annoying. Mutagon. Alright, I'll just break tank with Zip Tap. Because yeah, I was assuming tank it was secret ability, that would be interesting. That would be interesting. See how I'm able to deal with it. Because I almost never fight secret ability Mutagon. I have fought some before. But not often. Zip zap, break tank. Now what do we go into? Oh, just we just go Revenine here. I kind of want to go into uh, this. Let's do it. Let's do it. I have some melee defense TPs. And a robust personality. At least I think I have TPs. It's, po it's entirely possible I just never TP train this. And thankfully, even for the telekinetic, does no damage. Okay, I'm gonna go for Sap Plan here. If he goes into Tap Tap, that'll suck. So we're gonna get Sap Plan up, and we're gonna go for a Scapegoat Spam now. <sighs> Frost Punch, that's not super effective, so I can take that. Yep, and honestly, I kinda wanna do some other things here. Oh, we have to get a lot of recovery. Never mind, I'll just Scapegoat. People like to run Life Drain as the last move, or Slap Down, but I'm personally running Frost Beam. I think it makes the most sense to run Frost Beam. I really do think it just makes sense. Frost Punch. It doesn't even break the scapegoat. Buddy. Buddy. Just give me that recovery then. I guess I go for the Frost Beam. May as well chip it. Make this a little faster. Frost Beam. There we go. Telekinetic. Is that? Yeah, that's breaking it. Telekinetic definitely breaks it. But that's fine. We're, we're, we're getting so much recovery. We're, okay, we're actually doing some really nicely with this Banfino here. The Tatap is going to ruin us, though. The Tatap is going to be a problem. What am I going to do about that? That Any plant type is a problem. Actually, not any. I have Frost Beam. I keep forgetting. <laughs> there we go. Get the recovery. He didn't break my scapegoat again. Does Frost Beam kill? Does Frost Beam kill? I'll see. Does Frostbeam kill? I hope it kills. I really do. <laughs> Frostbeam, come on. Please kill. Please kill. Please kill. Come on. Come on. Banfino. Dang it. Alright, so it's going to break my escape. That's not good. Telekinetic. I was hoping for a missed it. That would have been really nice. Probably should have just gone for wait. We want as much energy as possible. We but hey, I just managed to stall a Mutagon with Banfino. That's also really big. Banfino is really big. I'm hoping for Ben Vita to get bigger though. I'm hoping for my friends at Bully want to do some work. Okay, Zulong. I don't have a robust personality, so I'm not gonna. Oh, wow. Right. Okay, we're really rage frail. Are these really frail in general? Do I want to try Banfino against this? I'm gonna go for the Sap Plan. How much does Elemental Burst do? Maybe we'll be okay? That looks like it does too much. So that did a like. 100 plus that 120 damage around there Okay, 100 if it does go on 120 again, I think scapegoat is the play I guess it depends. I'm gonna go for a Do I try it? We'll try to scapegoat. We'll try it. Oh He goes for storm something. We're fine. Just don't paralyze me. That's gonna really suck if he paralyzed me Damn it Actually, Storm Summon did a lot. Elemental Burst definitely would have made it so I couldn't scapegoat. But Storm Summon makes it so I can. So there we get the scapegoat up. Now, do I get enough recovery for another? I don't. Dang. Alright, we're gonna go for the Frost Beam here. Just grab some chip. Thunder Strike. 
Also, why is he running Storm Summon? <laughs> Alright, Frost Beam. Shiver? No. Alright, so, uh, Banfito's gonna go down, but Banfito did really good work. Actually, we might not go down. We might, we might, but we might not. Let's see. Elemental Burst, is that gonna kill me? It's only a little... Actually, it's quite a bit stronger than Storm Summon. It should kill me. Oh, let's go! Banfito's grabbing two kills this battle. Okay, well, that's just kill. Okay, no, it did kill. Sap plant, though. <laughs> there we go. That's wonderful. Banfino. It's okay for Banfino to die now. Banfino did great. Why didn't, why didn't you go Tatab, -tap, buddy? Why didn't you go Tatab? -tap? Is he gonna go Tatab -tap now? He's going to Cosmire. So he actually brought the meatball. If I can get a sap plant up against this, because I might outspeed it. I do! Oh, come on, buddy. Go for peace of mind. Cerebral Slash. Cerebral Slash. Please don't kill. Ah, It would've been so funny if it didn't kill, though. Alright, here we just go Protagon. Protagon should get a... Yeah, no, it gets a range attack boost against this. Because Maya's range defense isn't that high, I think? It's not that high. It's mostly a melee tank. So we're going to launch a metal, metal Blast. There goes the Sap Plant. Kind of unfortunate. Into Tap Tap. Alright, he's going to get two shot here. We're fine. Yep. <laughs> Rarely two shot. Is it boots tap tap though? Let's see. I should just heart switch to Revenine, but I don't want to because yeah. I really don't want to heart swap to Revenine. But it's fine. But yeah, clearly Protagon's proven we're fine. Cosmire is the final Lumia. Banfino did really well in the first battle. Somehow. Somehow Banfino did it. Alright, we're gonna go for that. There's the Metal Blast. Almost dead. Go for Psycho Blast. Why do you have Cerebral and Psycho? That makes no sense. Alright, I'm just gonna KO in the Metal Blast. There, okay, he forfeited. Alright, on to the next battle. Okay, Banfino in this battle, there's no- Oh, wait. Oh, wait, no. They do have a plant type, but it's Holly Bunch. Holly Bunch, I can, I can Frost Beam, I can Provoke. So maybe we're fine. Also, our team, the rest, the entire rest of our team friends Holly Bunch. Except Zulong. Everyone else friends Holly Bunch. I will bring the Zulong. And I... Do I have Holly Bunch switch in? Okay. Holly Bunch friends the whole team. I'll say that. <laughs> so I guess I won't lead Zulong. I guess the lead instead will be Snacku. And then we'll bring along Protagon and Sumobito. We'll leave... Actually, I really want to bring Akalos. That's going to be good for Zephyrin. Zephyrin's a friend. So I'll bring Akalos over Protagon. Protagon's not necessary. And I'll actually bring Revenant over Sumobito. No, Sumobito makes more sense. Okay, there we go. He leads with Buzzlin. What did I lead? Snag that's not goop. And that's not goop. This is actually great because Buzzlin does actually threaten my Banfino. So I can Sap Plant against it. And I can Frost Beam it for super effective damage. But I'm gonna get Oakwood by a Baneful Bastard on Adaptive Assault. So I'd, I'd gladly take the Buzzlin. He lives. Somehow knows that. Okay, well, that's killing him. <laughs> oh, that did half. That did half. I guess Nagu's melee defense is qu quite low compared to his range defense. So yeah, fair I guess. Imperior. Eh, I don't know how much I like this. I'll go for Jetstream. Gonna go for the Dark Search here. So it is very nimble. It KO'd me. Dang it. I was hoping to live so I could actually weaken it and make it less useful. Okay, who do I send in? Oh, I'm actually running the Boots of Carlos. I forgot. Is that good or be is that better or worse for me? I don't know. I kind of want to send it in, but I, I, there's no chance I have speed Imperial because I don't have speed TPs. Oh, wait, no, I did TP train this thing in speed. Okay, maybe I do outspeed it, but do I want to go into it? I think the better play is to Zip Zap. Into, definitely not Banfino. That's not the play. <laughs> because clearly this is very nimble. It's going to outspeed, and Frost Beam probably doesn't kill after I Zip Zap because I'm not range attack trained. Man, that outspeed too long. But it's going for Dark Search, so I think it doesn't have Shrewd Blast. That did a lot. That did a lot. I think it doesn't have Shrewd Blast. It might have Boom Bash. I'm gonna go Yoko and pray that it doesn't. I think I live a Boom Bash, but I'd rather it just not have it. We're gonna go for... Counter Snaps or Quick Punch? I think we go for Quick Punch. Oh, wait. Okay, wait. He switches. Into what? Tundra. Okay, that's terrible. That is not good. Okay, he's gonna start boosting. I wanna go Banfino, but Body Crush is gonna suck. 
So what do I do? It's health amulet. That's also terrible. I can't really do anything about Tundraland, can I? I may have to sack somebody. Do I try it? I think I'll try the Manfino, but no, oh, no. It's definitely not the play. Manfino was definitely the misplay. Manfino, I should have sent an after. Okay, wait, I, that did way too much anyways. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know what to do. I guess I... I think we might lose to Tundralin. I think I just threw against Tundralin. This was the offensive one, I'd feel fine. Okay, he switches. Holly Bunch? Holly Bunch. Okay. That was bad. But it's not as bad now. Okay. So, I gonna go for the Frost Beam? I could- I think a funny play would be scapegoating, because... Yeah, that would be a really funny play. We're gonna go for it. Waste his energy. Because that's- that's what Holly Bunch needs most, energy. He goes for- Oh, he goes for summon? Don't hit me! Damn it, that's hit me! Okay, if he keeps going for summon, we're fine. Actually, he might go for another summon this turn. I'm gonna go for provoke. Let's see, summon? He goes for... Yeah, he did go for summon. Okay, please don't get any attacking moves. That would be best case scenario. Do not get attacking moves. He might only run it. He might be only running summon, which would be absolutely hilarious, but I don't think that makes sense. Is he? Don't go Tundralan. Imperior. Oh, we get chip on Imperior. Ooh, we get chip on Imperior. Now, what do I do this turn? I think this turn I switch to a Kalos. Now, with a Kalos, what do I do? I think we have a Kalos, we go for Rogue Assault. I'm going for Rogue Assault because I want to hit the Tundralin as hard as possible. Come on! He's definitely going to go for another one. There's no need to predict anything. I'm just going to go for the Rogue Assault. KO Imperial. It outspeeds me even with boots. I need Nimble to outspeed it. Come on! Or is, am I max speed UPs? Oh, I am max speed UPs. What? I'm going to go to Yoko. I'm going to go Yoko. And we're going to go for Counter Stance this time because... I don't want Tundra coming in. That would be bad. And the Imperior is a, plus Tundra is annoying. I think I. This is not easy. This is not a good battle. Counter Stance should fail if he switches. And if I land it, I get to kill Imperior. Damn it, he switches. Tundra I mean. Do I want to just bulk up and hit it? Do I? Probably not. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for the crit counter stance, I guess. Body crash. Now, how much does it do? Oh, boy. Huh. Now, I actually kind of wish I got a sap plan up first, though. Another bulk up. And we're gonna go for counter stance. And we're gonna hope we Oko Tundralin. He goes for his own bulk up. That's not fun. <laughs> I really wish I had sap plan up for this. That would be super good. <laughs> bulk up again. He's gonna go for bulk up again. I'm gonna go for bulk up again. Bulk up again. Here we're probably at plus four, I wanna say. He body crashed, don't kill. <sighs> he got a high damage roll. You got a high roll. Man, why you gotta do me like that? Alright, the play is definitely zip zap. He, I, I can't win because the Imperior. Zip zap. Zack Manfino. Alright, I'm just gonna go on to the next battle. You guys don't need to see this. Ah, it wasn't Manfino's fault, it was mine, definitely. Clearly, something stupid's gonna happen this battle. I'm gonna leave with Manfino to deal with the Tyborg. We're gonna bring Revenine, Protagon. <laughs> I'm so gonna die to this hard die. I'm so gonna get destroyed. Alright, we're just gonna go snack goop as the last one. You know, provoke barter, maybe it can stop some dumb strategy, we'll see. Icicles the lead, I led Banfino. I gonna go for the provoke. We're gonna try and stop anything dumb happening. Provoke. 
There's a chance that Magneto could really deal with this. Alright, he does go for probably Baffle or Icicle Traps. Now we're gonna go for Sap Plan. And he should switch into the uh, Dibord because it's a Toxic type and I am very weak to Toxic. Let's see. Let's see. Alright, now we're gonna go for a scapegoat. Okay, well, on to the next battle. Alright, Bad Fino in this battle. They have a Sea Drake, which, in general, I need to be kinda careful around. But I think we can handle it. We're gonna lead Zulong. Zulong's destructive in this game. Also, they have a Faraglyph, that's very cool. And then we go Revenine and Arcalos for this battle. Snagoop is actually really strong in this battle. We'll do Snagoop over Revenine, we'll see, we'll see. I kind of want to bring out Carlos because I do want something that can threaten the Pyrolin. I really, really do. It's okay if I find self lost as long as I can threaten Pyrolin. Ooh. Ooh, is this Boots? If it's Boots, I'm in danger. Let's see. Boots Valkyrie? Gonna clap my cheeks? Nope. Alright, we get the zip zap off. Should I have gone with Thunderstrike? Never mind. Both will go. I probably should have gone with Thunderstrike. But hey, I'm getting Banfino in. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna get Banfino in. Sea Drake's probably gonna come out. I'm gonna use, after this battle, we're gonna go for the offensive one. It's gonna go to Farrow. Actually, you know what? I'll do the offensive one for a separate video. Now, Farrow, can I sap plan against this thing? Do I outspeed it first off? I do. Good. It's gonna go for a Spectral Burst. Wait, I just realized I'm weak to Dark Search. Why did I risk it? Well, thank God he's going for Spectral Burst. And now we do what we do. <laughs> Quite a bit of health there. We're gonna go for the scapegoat. Is there really anything he can do about this? I don't know. He's he's just gonna stay in. Let's see. Dark Surge coming out. So I'm at, I was at 291, I think. Memorize. I actually don't remember what Memorize does. I think Memorize is kind of like. Is it like me first or some? It's oh, I clicked the wrong move. Oopsies. Oops, I clicked the wrong move. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to go for provoke scapegoat. Come, scapegoat doesn't matter. Scapegoat doesn't matter, bro. What is this set? Memory Scapegoat, Spectral Burst. What? We'll go for, we're going for Provoke. It goes for Scapegoat. We may as well stop him from doing anything silly. Or we can catch a switch into Pyrolin. And I can, I actually really like provoking this. Now it's Rainbow, so it shouldn't have any like totem stats, which is good. We're going to go for the Sap Plant now. This thing shouldn't be able to threaten me, and I can spam Scapegoat against this. <laughs> <laughs> this is so stupid. I might edit this video just because some parts of it might take too long. This is working strangely well, though. It's working weirdly well. I don't know. I I'm sorry about the mic. It's working weirdly well. So yeah, it's gonna break. Pyrolin has a lot of health, so we should get a lot back. Let's see. How much do we get? Okay, we're at 280 284. Okay, we're at 284. Let's see. Escape go. We're at 284. Down to 211. Fire Breath is going to break it. 229. I was at 284. And now I'm at 274. We lose 10 health each turn. Pyrolin has so much health that we... That's that's all we lose. I just go for Scapegoat here. There's no reason to go for anything else. We're going to take so much damage if it Fire Breath or Rainbow Blasts. It rests. It gives me a free Scapegoat. That's fine. So I get to actually go for a wait here because I may as well get more energy on Banfino. May as well, you know. Let's see. I think we just go for the wait this turn. Yeah, this is why you run Hell Family on this. Alright, thanks for the wait. And thanks for letting me sap plant the Snagoop. Oh, wait. I don't know if I outspeed Snagoop. Oh, no. I really don't want to risk it. I think I'm actually just gonna immediately frost me. Okay, I'll speed it. <laughs> I could have actually tell with to, to, seen it with sap plant. Oh, it provoked! It provoked! You idiot! Yes! <laughs> Last year, frost beam again! <laughs> this is why you run the frost beam, man. See, no. <laughs> now the provoke is gonna last, but that's hilarious. Oh no, if he broke my scapegoat, that would have sucked. But now scapegoat's gonna stick around for a little while. And I'm gonna get either a wait or a frost beam on something. <laughs> this is so stupid, but it works. It's working. It's working. 
It's really dumb, but it's working. I'm gonna go for it. Ooh, I can't really do anything against this. I think the play is just to wait and then switch. We may as well get the energy back. We may as well. Bludgeon, it's not even clobber. It's not even clobber. Provoke hasn't even ended yet, man. Alright, go for another... The team's full health. The whole team is full health. Well, we're gonna take some damage switching to Snagoop here. Unless he goes for a really dumb switch. Let's see. Bludgeon. No, he goes for another bludgeon. Well, there's our first bit of damage in the whole match. Well, besides Banfino you know, taking some hits. Well, by hits, I mean scapegoats. Alright, goodbye, Cannibal. I guess this is where Life Drain will come in handy, but I... Frostbeam killed the Snagoop, and that's way more threatening than the Cannibal. Way more threatening. Snagoop is way more threatening. Faraglyph. Alright, so here I'm gonna just go for the Jet Stream. That should KO you. If Banfino outspeeds you... Snagoop should outspeed you. You're, you're, Banfino is one speed point higher. And it's not TP trained. Snagoop, it's max TP trained. Hyrulean. Alright, this has a chance of reverse sweeping me, but I doubt it will. I doubt it will. Let's see. Fanning, that's definitely Fanning Flame. You can take your Rage Attack boost, buddy. I'm not gonna... Oh, that, wait. Is it, actually the, is it actually that set? Is it actually running that set? Is it really gonna reverse... I'll get the speed drop. <laughs> It didn't go for okay. It didn't go for stretch. It didn't go for stretch. So we were fine anyways. And you know who I'm gonna give the kill to? I'm gonna give it to Akalos because Akalos hasn't done anything this whole video. And also, the, I brought it for the Pyroland. So we're just gonna send it in Hydro Slash, and we just win. That was ridiculous. That was infinitely ridiculous. Benfito did so good that battle. Well, guys, that was so dumb. But I. I don't know if I'll use the Banfino ever again, honestly. But I might. I might just because that was funny. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video, guys. I'll, oh, not, uh, none of you need to see that. Leave a like, everybody. Subscribe. Let me know what you want to see me do in the future. And have a good day, everybody.